Gentlemen, brothers and sisters, it is given that man should live not off bread alone, but from every word that comes out from the mouth of God. And that's what we need to do, guys. Live on the word. The word is the scripture. Um, it's, it's everything that's about us. I'm sitting at the gate this morning again, just looking around to see who's about. There's nobody, which is quite unusual. But looking at news today, you know, I've seen nothing visions this morning yet. The day's early yet. I've seen nothing that uh, I can pass on and inspire from as a instant word of God. But uh, we're looking at scripture and uh, we're just looking for prayer here. Guys, a tropical, a tropical storm is headed for New Orleans. Pray, 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 brothers and sisters. You know, New Orleans seems to get it a big time, doesn't it? It always seems off the, off the gulf there. <clears throat> and then another breaking news as we look at uh, end time signs. Um, Iran um, armed boats, three armed boats uh, sent by Iran attempt to storm British oil tanker. They're coming back. They're now, we're now in the game, I think. Britain is in the game as well as the US. Uh, so we're with you. We're with you guys. Um, but we're all with the Lord, so he he has the ultimate say, doesn't he? You know, he is the most high. But it's it's exciting in a lovely kind of way. But um, US, an interesting one as the enemy moves in now. The enemy moves in and gets um, intense, you know, uh, looking for high fives. And, you know, Christians, brothers and sisters, stop doing what you're doing and get on with God. Stop spamming but encourage you know stop sending negatives set negative things without uh, working it out and being close to god because i would not send anybody a message that uh, of discouragement in this time stand together you know but we're looking at u.s fast food drive throughs we'll see news license plate and facial recognition this is control guys this information can be stored in large quantities in, in large um, databases and held to come back to us. You know, identification, this is big brother watching you, you know, but my big father is watching me. <laughs> my big father is watching you. Okay, UN launches all out war on free speech, targeted at hate speech. That's a move, right? That's a play. Where's this coming from? Who's influencing uh, the people and leaders at the moment? That's what we've got to look at. But what I've got to say is that as a redeemed person, I should only be looking now for the rapture. I'm going to do something tonight. I was working on it last night on the pre-tribulation. Is it biblical? So watch out for that. That'll probably come out tomorrow. I've been working in the office doing that one rather than do this one as a face-to-face. -face. But, you know, it was quite clear that we should not be we we should not see be even looking at the end times if you, if you know what i mean there should be a warning that rapture is near but we should be face against the glass looking for him to return you know which i really hope is any day any day you know and we've had plenty of um prophecy and signs in the times from rapture at twilight is a sign in the skies you know she has identified something over 3 to 5 years i'm not saying that is going to happen but if it doesn't happen, that is a sign that something that's radical like uh, September uh, 2017 was a major sign in the sky. We've got to watch for these things. Um, but France, this is interesting, over in Europe, our side of the world, uh, anti-Christian attacks have quadrupled in France. Anti-Christian attacks have quadrupled in France. There's a major downturn in people's thinking. And um, last but not least, you know, to show, I'll say two words, Jeffrey Epstein, you know, um, people in power and corrupt. This this is what's going on behind the scenes, guys. And we should know and be able to pray against the enemy. That's what we can do pre-rapture, is be prepared and at war until the coming of our Lord. Uh, for us, the first, uh, the the middle bit, not the second coming, um, which I'll go into tonight. Um, <clears throat> redeem, keep your eyes on the rapture. That's what that's what I'm just saying. Keep your eyes pressed on the glass for the rapture, but don't give up praying, because that's all we can do at the moment. We could campaign. We will not beat these evil tyrants with the money. You know, we'll not do it. It's in a time where we have billionaires and. 
and 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 things that are, have really really changed come on if we look at that instance in in itself you know the people that are, are super wealthy you know solomon type wealth uh, are plentiful now you know so and they can go one or two ways can't they <clears throat> they can either go for the lord or they can go for the enemy and the truth is we it's all within the plan of god there's nothing no weapon formed against us or certainly our father that can stand he has control he has the end times so i just wanted to share this morning i like sharing i, I like uh, my christian brothers and sisters we will all meet up in the sky <clears throat> those that redeemed don't forget the ones that we have left behind you know those that have not accepted christ at this point in time still have a chance in the tribulation though tough it's going to be it'll be martyrdom it'll be absolute hell on earth so leave things behind leave your bread trails leave your green footprints on the footpath leave your money where they can get it leave everything because you you won't have anything to have that you'll need when you you won't even need your clothes you're going out of here in in brand new <laughs> right brand new we're out of here brand new you know brothers and sisters but anyway i'll leave you with may god bless you and keep you make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you in jesus name god bless